Hello there everyone, it's Carol here from the Crafty Emporium. I'm doing a, a zoomed in video today. I just want to clarify the difference between all of these here because we often get asked, because we use seam binding a lot in our journals, we often get asked about what the difference is. So I want to show you what seam binding looks like close up. Okay, so that's what it looks like close up. So it's got a slightly open weave to it and it's made with a rayon fiber. Now I Google searched this bit, I'm not this clever, and it says that rayon is an artificial textile composed of regenerated and purified cellulose derived from plant sources. It was made in the late 19th century as a substitute for silk. Okay, so it's quite soft to the touch. Um, and that is the um, seam binding that we use in our journals. That's what you'll see mostly, and it comes in a variety of different colours. Now, this one can be known as cotton tape or twill tape. All right. Now, twill tape normally has a herringbone kind of effect to it, um, but this is a cotton tape, which looks very, very similar to the seam binding but this is made with cotton all right slightly different this is used for adding on to um seams to reinforce them so if you were making for an example a shirt and you wanted to reinforce part of the seams then this is what you would use all right so this is cotton Although it looks similar to the seam binding, it's different. It's a different fibre. Then you've got bias binding tape, which is what this one is. Okay, again, a close-up for you. So if we flip it over, it's got these two little flanges on the other side. Now, this is used when you're piping a cushion, for instance, um, or you're curling it around... So let's curl it around the edge of this piece of card here so that you've got some on the front and some on the back. Okay, so that, that's what bias binding tape is. And it's called bias binding because when you get a piece of fabric, it's cut on the diagonal, which is the bias, all right? So it means that it's got more curve to it, so it allows you to go around corners a lot easier. So that's bias binding tape. We've also then got a selection of ribbons. Now this particular ribbon is an organza ribbon and it has a slight sort of metallic -y sheen to it. Now again, it looks very similar to the seam binding, but this is a sheer, you can see my fingers look straight through the um, backside of this ribbon. Okay, so this is an organza ribbon. You've then got the normal ribbon, which is your satin ribbon, which has got this lovely sheen to it. Okay, so that's just ordinary ribbon and that comes in a variety of different widths. So this one is a, a three millimeter ribbon here, satin ribbon. Um, and again, you can use those for making bows and things. There's no reason why you can't use these any of these for your journals but when we talk about seam binding and that's what we get asked a lot about what is seam binding what's the difference what's the difference between this and a cotton tape well, this is made with rayon threads okay which is a man-made thread it has a lovely sheen to it and as i say it's an open wave but this is what we normally use and that we can dye up into different colors and scrunch it up so it's all lovely and crinkly so that's seam binding so it was just a quickie video today to just show you the difference between all of these so hopefully that has answered some questions for you um and it's this one that we use rayon seam binding okay thanks for watching see you again soon bye